Welcome to Sailing Kourou. Last week we spent a fair amount of time in the beautiful city of Tarragona and we were eager to leave. But there was time for one more adventure. That's the perks of having no kids. We don't have to share any candies. We don't have to <laughs> <laughs> go to, to coaster stay one to. It's all for us. More cotton candy for me. <laughs> Puerto Aventura. It's one of the biggest parks in Europe. They have approximately 3.6 million visitors every year. As a tradition of ours, first order, getting a big ass beer. Just a little bit wet. Can you see anything? No, barely. Well, we got wet, but it was fun. So, I think we're gonna like sit in the dryer and... Uh... Hold on, hold on. So we're gonna sit in the body dryer for a couple of hours to get warm again because the sun somehow disappeared. Come on, you need to get dry too. <laughs> There's a super dry store right next to it. How convenient is that? Puerto Ventura is one of the biggest coastal parks in Spain. It offers over 36 rides and is built on about 130 acres, just a short train ride from Tarragona. The famous Ferrari land is also located right next to it. Since we're no Ferrari fans yet and do not have the cash to spend, we skipped it. It was still early in the season, so many rides were closed and just a few food stalls were open. The prices were fairly high, but I guess that's the same in every park like this. Nevertheless, a must for every thrill-loving person who visits Tarragona. The rock makes the sound. <laughs> it's weird. Good morning, we uh, left the dirty marina and are heading to, I already forgot the name again, what's that? Uh, Port Ginesta. Port Ginesta. And on the way, because <clears throat> in the last, uh, at the last stop we bought us, we treated us with some uh, fishing gear. <laughs> so um, on the way there we're going to try out our new fishing gear, trawl a little um, along uh, a sh uh, shelf. It's a two to three hour ride, very easy, we don't have any wind so we have the motor which is not bad for fishing actually because we can slow down if we have to quickly. So yeah, let's hope for some tuna tuna or something, <laughs> we'll see. You call it fishing gear, I call it kitchen utility. Ew, ew, ew. We steamed towards Barcelona and encountered our first mola mola, or sunfish. These fish can grow up to about 3.5 meters in length and weigh up to just over 2 tons. That is one heavy beast. This one here was about 1.5 meters long and was performing some kind of fin dance on the surface for us. We have seen this many times since, but still don't know why they are doing this. So if we have any marine biologists watching, let us know what the dance is for, please. As quick as he appeared, as quick as he was gone again. 
We have enjoyed this encounter a lot and have seen so many Mola Mola since. We continued our sail towards Barcelona and got the first taste of the industrial harbor and the close by airport. The bliss was gone and we knew we entered the big city territory. So uh, we're passing through uh, the Barcelona shipping lane or one of the shipping lanes in Barcelona. And it is really busy, I have to say. Check this out. I just remembered you probably not seeing all of it. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen big ships. Ships around us, planes above us. It's crazy busy in the air and on the water here. It's pretty scary. And in front of us, like because we're entering the area of the, the yacht harbors, um, <laughs> there are like hundreds of little sailboats sailing around in the, in the bay here. So um, yeah, we have to pay attention. Club Nautico Barcelona and it's uh, beautiful here it's really nice there are a lot of uh, nice boats here old wooden boats and some brand new ones like the one right behind me <laughs> if you can see that um, there is one right there well you can't see it but I'm gonna show you anyways a bit later on I'm gonna take a picture of it wow look at this this Port. It's really beautiful. It's in Barcelona, in the middle of Barcelona. We just like walk along the, the marina here and then cross the bridge that we sailed under to get in here. And then we're like uh, at the Rumbla and right in the center of everything. We picked up our friend Gabriela before we again dove into Barcelona's awesomeness. came in just a little bit earlier. We are waiting to go on the cable cars. We're gonna do something uh, against Ria's um, fear for heights. One thing I desperately wanted to do was riding the cable car that takes you from Port Vell to Montjuic, where in 1992 the Olympic Summer Games took place. The ride was short and cramped, but it was a cool thing seeing the huge port with the bird's eye. So if you're fine with waiting in line for a couple of hours for just a short ride, you should definitely do this while in the city. We just rode the cable car and there was no looping, no nothing in it. It was pretty, uh, not very uh, eventful. <laughs> but it was a nice view though, I <laughs> have to say. How long did we uh, wait it in line? I would say about... One and a half hours? One and a half for sure. Huh? More. I'd say more. Okay. <laughs> The girls headed to uh, the Boqueria to get some fresh veggies and fruits for uh, our sail up north. Next stop will be Port Baris or something like that. I don't know. We're gonna like marina hop our way up to Palamos. And we are on the way again.
We left Barcelona at 11 o'clock, just in time for the bridge to open to give way to leaving and approaching boats. Morning. Morning. What were we up to the last few days? We were lazy. We weren't lazy. Blur, blur, blur. But then um, we <laughs> we have our friend Gabriela on board and uh, we picked her up in Barcelona. We stayed for one more day and then we headed up north. And um, right now we are in Puerto Blanes. The uh, sun's coming out a little bit, so we thought we're gonna stay here for one more night. We're getting ready to go to Tosa something. It's about seven nautical miles away from here, and we just go there for some fun and go on land with the dinghy and um, stroll around and then come back here for the night. Sounds like a plan. We, have a, we actually have someone who, who can film all of this for once, that's great. We always have to like rig the cameras and everything, put it here, put it there, and then I forget to press start and you know. There are so many fortresses here on this coast. It's unbelievable, like we, uh, we left about 10 minutes ago and we already see our third or fourth fortress. Right there. We're on top of the hill there. Sweetness! And we're gonna go look at one today. The medieval town of Tosa del Mar and its beautiful fort which is built into the cliffs really blew our minds. But more of that next time on Sailing Coru. Thanks for tuning in. These videos are made with love and are dedicated to everyone who is not yet ready to cut the lines and sail off into the sunset. To everyone who seeks adventures and dreams of pure freedom and endless summers. To all of you free spirits and wandering souls, see you out there.